Hey, uh, ended up doing what I said I was gonna do. I uh, just put a line of the thicker stud welds, the studs through, and uh, started yanking it after pretty much fucking up on this side trying to do it. But it started off, I uh, had a dent right here from, I think I was trying to hit down a, a high spot and it ended up putting a big ass dent. So I just went ahead and used a thick ass stud and uh, pulled it one time and it pulled the whole dent out. So I was like, oh shit. So I went through and did along this side and that's what I got. It's just gonna take like some slight body filler and shit. Um, now I gotta worry about fixing this shit right here. All these dolly hammer marks and shit. So that's gonna be my next step. Then with the uh, sanding down on the sunroof, pretty much ready to shoot the primer and uh, fill what little imperfections I have. Um, I still got to build this up, but I'm just wrapping it up for the day. I've been out here for about two hours. I'm about to wrap it up, spend time with the kids. Then my wife helped clean and shit. Um, rag tops are known for rusting. That's the whole reason why I ended up putting a sunroof in. Um, so, like, as I've been going along doing the sanding and shit, I've seen, like, little rust pecks. This one... Um, I'm probably just going to uh, fill up with weld and call it a day. Uh, I filled this one, and I filled that one right there. But if I come across any more, I'm just going to fill them up with uh, weld, a weld bead, grind it down, and shoot it and go. Um, so, I actually need to move the car out into the sun so I can see my high and low spots before I shoot the primer. I'm probably going to be doing that probably like next week and shit. Probably Friday. Yeah, I'll probably do that Friday. Um, this side, all I got to do is sand it down to bare metal. Right there, sand down to bare metal and then shoot primer. Uh, on the, And then I actually have to fill up this low spot shit that I have right here. Like, you see on the other side how it is all, like, one pinkish white color. And then this one's, like, kind of dark. Like, these are low spots and shit. So, i got to fix those. Uh, this side's good. So, i got to work from about, like, right here down filling that. Uh, the back side, i got to, I have to build, build up, uh, and fix small imperfections um, that side's good that side's good um, so mainly it's just this back back side and the driver side I gotta fix this part um, I welded in fiberglass uh, this is good I shoot that with primer um, dolly hammer these high spots right here right there fix that I might just actually just fill that save some a little bit of time because it's starting to become winter and well it's actually fall now so it's I've been working on this all summer light lightweight doing shit um, so do that and then all I gotta do is swap my doors but I'm gonna I'm waiting to do my doors because when I do my doors, I'm going to pull, pull them off the hinges and go ahead and fix that shit right there. So, I'll probably be doing that, not this coming week, but the following week. So, probably in like two weeks, I'll be swapping my doors and fixing those. But, uh, my main focus is getting this roof done. Fixing the roof, getting that all squared away, and then shooting this shit uh, with primer. <coughs> and uh, fixing that right there welding that finish welding that up and then um also when i do my doors i'm also going to do my front drain lines yeah i'm also going to do my front drain lines because i got to take those off i got to take the doors off so in order to take the doors off i got to take off the fenders front fenders so i'm gonna go ahead and uh while i'm doing all that i'm gonna go ahead and put my drain lines my front drain lines in and then so Probably by winter, 
I should have my sunroof and all that shit primed and my doors done. And then the next step is pulling the motor out. I mean, the motor's good, but it's dirty. And it leaks oil. <coughs> like, I got oil leak from the valve covers, and then I got a bunch of oil shit right there. Uh, when I pulled the transmission out, it was, like, caked in oil, so that's how I knew I had an oil leak and shit. So, and while I got the motor out, I'm probably going to uh, clean up. I am going to clean up uh, clean up this area and shit. Clean all that out. <coughs> clean it all out and make it look nice and purdy. <coughs> I'm not smoking a blunt this time. I'm act I actually got a cold. And, um... Yeah, so this winter pulling my motor out and rebuilding that and should be done with the car. By next summer I should be cruising after I do the motor and brakes and shit. <coughs> but just a small little update.